for that, mat, that one we're using a wholemeal flour. Second thing you need to have is water, because without that you don't get any, uh, it doesn't make a dough. Third thing, and the very important thing for making it rise, is the yeast, which is actually here, you can see this is what we call fresh yeast, which has actually been dried, it has been dried a little bit, but not very much. If you bake at home, you'll quite often find it in little, little balls, and that's because it's been dried further. It needs a bit more time to get going. This is fresh because it's what we use in the factories. Two other final ingredients that we add are salt and what we call bread improver. So the salt, we add a little bit because that helps to make the, the dough stretchy and it's very important for that. Not just, it isn't about taste, it's, it's to make the dough stretchy. And the final thing is bread improver. This is this kind of gloopy thing that is actually contains ascorbic acid, which is the same as vitamin C, and also a little bit of oil and fats and things like that that again, help to make that dough soft and nice the way we like it. Wow, so it's just a few really key ingredients. And um, by the sounds of it, Paul, flour is really important. How do we make flour? Oh, well, flour starts with an ingredient, which is wheat. So that's what wheat looks like, which is um, a, you know, the, a grain that you see growing in the fields all over the, all over the United Kingdom. Um, and it's, uh, we take that and we grind it down. And the starting point for that is actually what we get from the farm is this sort of stuff. It's got bits of straw and chaff that he hasn't managed to remove from it. So the first job of the, of the miller is to clean it up. And here's a sample that we've cleaned. So you can see the amount of stuff. You don't want to be eating bits of chaff. You want to be making the, uh, the grain from here. Yeah. Within, that, within this wheat, look, wheat grain, there are three things that are important to think about. First thing is, there's the brown around the outside, which is the brown bit you can see here. Second thing is, inside that, there's kind of a white bit that we're in the middle that we call the endosperm. And that's what actually makes the white bit of the flour. And the third thing is that right on the end of it, there's a little bit 